Alrighty, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Sam Rainey in here. Today we're going to be reviewing my very first uh, publicly available map for that um, bunker that I made. I made this map like two years ago. I made it back in 2020. That is mind boggling. Two years ago. So the only map I could find that was actually saved to my Google Drive uh, in that time period, so. Anyway, we're going to do a little review, a little trip down memory lane, and then we're going to nuke it. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting to take a look at everything and then wipe it off the map, because that is just crazy like that. So, um, anyway, let's get into it, shall we? Uh, this is, yeah, <laughs> the door is kind of wonky, I'm not going to lie. There we go. All right, we're in. Beautiful. All right. So first things first, we come to. It's been a while since I've been here. So we have a reinforced CMB bricks. That is absurd. I forgot the blast rating on those is still absurd after all this time. All right. So that honestly is this this bunker here is actually future proofed. I didn't even think about that at the time, but this bunker is actually future proofed. All right, so we, then we have a little decontamination room as usual. I love this because you got little windows so you can actually see what's going on in there. You actually see the closet too, which is kind of funny. And then we have our high-performance high hazmat kits and stuff, our gas mask combo filters. All this stuff is original. I didn't add anything. The only thing I added to this world was the nuclear missile that we're, we're going to launch at it. We have wood, our satellite sh shooter. I, that's probably why there's bullets missing here. Or a door key. I think there used to be bullets, though those might have changed. Regardless. Alright, so we're going to close that up. And over here we have our little closet, which has, like, foods, food and stuff, you know. Plenty of food. I feel like there was a lot more in here at one point, but since, you know, we updated from the 2022 HBM Nuclear Tech Mod version to this. There is... I don't know why there's a Tesla crap in here. There's a lot of stuff going on here that's... At least we have... This is mostly normal though, so that's pretty exciting. Over here we have our Atomic Science Starter Kit, our Atomic Science Advanced Starter Kit, and our Atomic Science Kit for commercial uses. I've never found one of these in actual, like anywhere so these must be pretty rare to actually find if they're not in creative mode all right and then we have our electronics engineer kit so this is like we're like repairing anything that needs fixed or whatever you know we have concrete bricks reinforced nucrete reinforced cmb bricks and we have missile kit high performance and our various hazmat kits pretty nice i do say over here we have absolutely absurd stuff here, this Rabium uh, stuff here. And then we have CMB stuff as well, which is also like absurd. You can see the kit I used right there, that's crazy. Alright, so that's our little closet there. Next we have our electronic uh, electric press here, which, you know, we have stamps for. I think there used to be more stamps in here, but... You know, as with everything else, they've been dis dis disappeared. We have a lot of furnaces. We have our RF to HE converter, which actually takes RF from our second part of the facility. Puts it in here. This is fully stocked up. Look at that. So that keeps everything powered. I think there's a radiation absorber here. Yes, sir. Beautiful. We have our centrifuges. These are regular centrifuges for like ores and stuff. And then over here we have our gas centrifuges, which have uranium hexafluoride. So that uranium hexafluoride goes in here and then gets broken down into its respectable components in here. Which is pretty nice. A very nice system. Oh, also, we have a little card in here. Switch it to... I thought it... Never mind. Just where we used to have plutonium hexafluoride, too. Regardless, I ain't worried about that. 
All right, next thing up we have here is the generation room, which generates a lot of power. We have RT generators, which actually still have power in them. I guess that makes sense. It is 91% decayed. That's wild. Or it's either 91% decayed or it has 91% left. I'm not really sure. Regardless, we already got those. We still have our industrial... Whatchamacallit's here. Which, unfortunately, have been retired in the latest version. Look at that. Oh, look at all this fuel we have. Geiger counters, high performance kits. Oh, lordy, look at all this. This is decked out. And then we have our one small reactor. I was going to say big reactor, but that would be, a, in fact, quite a big lie. So here we go. We got lots of redundant power sources, which is beautiful. Barely have those in our newer, uh, like, facilities, you know? Alright, up here we have our assembly machine with our whatchamacallits. Got our thingies in there. Our force field miner, I completely forgot about this. Our first field miner gets powered by this. It takes a lot of power, though. But as you can see, it's working. I completely forgot about that. All right, then we have our radar system. We could have, you know, we could put self-charging batteries in here, and this would be op optimized. I want to do that actually. All right, so we're gonna slop one in here. Oh yeah, that's that's solid. Very good, very good. That is beautiful. So that means these will always be powered. I don't think the self-charging batteries existed in tw uh, 2022. Or I would definitely use them. We have a little radio station. I think this was like our little radio shack area. We have a Rosenberg pest, pest control box. I have no idea what this actually does. I just like it because it, it makes cool sound like the doors. And it has a little switch. So that's pretty exciting. Very exciting. Yeah, so I think this was like our little radio shack or whatever. That's pretty nice. Alrighty, that is pretty much it. So, it like, inside. Alright, now we're gonna wipe it off the map. Hopefully, maybe. I mean, hopefully not, actually. Let's get outside here. Getting out's always the hard part. I could, like, honestly add so much stuff to this. I might do that in a later video. Re, like... Like, innovating my little thing here. Look at that. I don't know, should I turn that off? Ah, screw it. We're not going to. It's not going to do much to, like, avoid the nuclear missile that's coming straight towards it. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, yes. I don't think the force field's a good idea. Force field's not gonna hold that back. That is a direct strike. I think I might actually see part of our facility. Okay, yep. That is not good. Did I? I don't think I reinforced the top. I really don't think I reinforced the top. I did. Okay, so that I could have done anything better than that then. So that that was simply unavoidable. Though that are that is problematic because that's like a big hole in our facility here. Let's grab a Geiger counter real quick. I'll try to see how much radiation we have. It is spicy in here. So, like, what would have to happen is you'd have to grab your freaking stuff out of the closet here and suit up and get rid of all that. She in here. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.